The Jersey Central is uh, strictly a DC operation. Uh, none of the engines have sound and at this point I don't have any intentions of uh, adding sound uh, or DC to this segment of the layout. Uh, it's primarily controlled from uh, this control panel which is located at Wilkes-Barre. Uh, the MRC, or there are two uh, MRC20 uh, power packs uh, and which uses these controllers. Uh, it's a, uh, they used phone jacks. Um, there are two here and there is one for this uh, power pack on the other side by the uh, South Wilkes-Barre mine. DC requires uh, block control to enable uh, two trains to be operated on the uh, segment at the same time. Uh, these are your block controllers. On the right, if uh, pushed to the right, uh, they're operating off of the uh, green controller and if moved to the left, they operate off of the red controller. Uh, all the switches turnouts on the uh, western end of the yard are controlled by tortoises and these are the switch uh, or turned out indicators. The three storage tracks on the western end tracks uh, 1W uh, 2W and 3W are also controlled by tortoises and these are the uh, indicators for those turnouts. There are uh, block occupancy detectors uh, for those three tracks and we see that uh, track 1W is occupied and that's used by the DNH uh, engine and 3W uh, is also occupied and we see that that one's uh, that was the one uh, occupied by the main line uh, train. Uh, 2W is unoccupied at this time. The primary thing about uh, these three uh, staging tracks is they must be left in the off position or to the left uh, when they're not being used. Uh, Otherwise, we have some inadvertent movements. This block extends from the station uh, up to the signal that we saw at Franklin Junction. And this block um, is to the east of the signal. Uh, and this depicts the lead to the interchange with the Lehigh Valley. The turnouts on the east end of Wilkes-Barre Yard are all manually operated by these controls located along the fascia. The turnouts for the CNJ interchange track uh, are controlled from the Lehigh Valley's uh, Wilkes-Barre control panel. Uh, they are both tortoise turnouts, which indicate their position. Uh, they should always be left in the normal or uh, green position. And the other thing that's unique is that the interchange track itself is uh, controlled here and it is set up for either DC on the C and J side, a center off position, and DCC on the left or the Lehigh Valley side. They also should be left in the uh, center off position.
The turnout to the South Wilkesboro mine is controlled uh, from this toggle on the fascia and the plug-in for the MRC20 uh, the green or the right side one is uh, located up here so when switching the mine uh, your MRC20 can be plugged in at this location the car cards for the Wilkes-Barre mine are located underneath uh, the fascia here The position of the turnout for the uh, South Wilkesboro mine lead is uh, indicated on uh, this signal and again uh, it should always be left in the normal position uh, which will indicate stop for the mine itself. The three staging tracks on the eastern end of the line are controlled by the uh, from the dispatcher's panel. Uh, they are tortoise operated uh, with uh, indicators. Uh, there are occupancy indicators. Uh, track 1 East uh, is occupied by a mainline freight. Uh, it can store up to 12 cars. Uh, the middle track uh, 2 East is unoccupied and as we talked uh, about before uh, 3 East is occupied by the uh, empty uh, going to the uh, South Wilkesboro mine. There are also uh, on off switches for each of them and they have to be left in the off position when not being used. The CNJ is operated following this schedule. Both the CNJ operator, uh, engineer, and the um, dispatcher have a copy. We don't follow a strict timetable, but sequentially uh, incorporate each of the operations uh, throughout the op session. Each of these scheduled trains will have one to two cars which have been blocked uh, for Wilkes-Barre to drop off and uh, the Wilkes-Barre operator should have uh, basically one to two cars for them to pick up depending on whether an eastbound or a westbound train. The CNJ operator in Wilkes-Barre will have a switch list to uh, work from. The first three cars on the listed the pickups. These are from the Lehigh Valley interchange. Uh, the last three cars destination Wilkes-Barre the Lehigh Valley they will be the cars that will be taken up. So that's one separate operation the three cars he's going to pick up and the three cars he's going to drop off uh, on the Wilkes-Barre run. The second group of cars listed uh, this would be an eastbound car going to Jersey City, uh, another eastbound car uh, to Ashley, uh, this one as well, and here's two westbound cars going to uh, Scranton. Uh, this group of cars are cars that he's going to switch uh, in Wilkes-Barre itself. Uh, this one, the Pennsylvania auto car, will be going to the team track that's the one behind uh, the station and then he has uh, two empties to take over to the Market Street siding to the car dump uh, there. And this is the uh, box used to uh, sort the car cards uh, on the right uh, or for the uh, cars going eastbound and uh, a separate section for those that are going to the Lehigh Valley for interchange. Uh, in the middle is pickup set outs and his holds. And on the left we have any cars that are going westbound to Scranton and uh, the D&H pickups because the D&H train will be coming in uh, and leaving to uh, westbound. 
that kind of wraps up the uh, CNJ section. I hope it's uh, explanatory enough to make it an interesting operation for whoever gets assigned to it.